Welcome to uh, level design. Uh, that's right. This is my. Uh, this is now during the time of the pandemic. This is lower. This is where we're going to talk video games. If you're not in my class, welcome. You're welcome to participate. So the idea here is we are discussing video games. My class is currently in the process of prototyping and creating some platformer games for the class. So we're studying what it means to be a 2D platformer. And so uh, this week I had them watch a really good GDC talk about the creators of M++ uh, that we're going to play here. A lot of people haven't heard of M++. It's a pretty popular game, a uh, pretty popular uh, platformer uh, made by two developers. Uh, I'm not sure if they have a relationship, but I know that there are only two developers, uh, men and women, who, who work on this they gave a great talk a lot of great insight and so we're going to test their game and we're going to talk about uh, how this game feels its design its structure and i would love it i would love it fake create says an extremely old game i think m plus plus isn't as old the original n was pretty old uh, but i would love it if everyone would comment in the titles or it would give a comment to help drive the discussion about whether n plus plus is a good game how does it feel <clears throat> Fake Craig says N++ is the newest iteration. Yeah, apparently April 5th, 2020, at the beginning of the pandem pandemic, they were giving away the game for free. Uh, yet they left a little note here at the bottom says, Good tidings. We know things are rough right now and wanted to do a little something to keep people's spirits up, so we're giving out Ninja uh, N++ keys. Oh, I paid cold hard cash for mine. Let's take a look. Uh, let me know if the audio is okay. Here's the title screen. Uh, we're going to play, let's go solo, because that's what I'm all about. So we're going to start with the intro. Here we go. So we're going to start with the first level. So we'll see what you guys think of this. I'm curious your, your input, your thoughts. So we'll push start. Hit A to push start, so left and right move the little ninja around. At some point, I acquired this little tail coming from my head. I'm not sure what it means. But as far as first levels go, this seems pretty basic, right? I kind of always judge a game by its first level and how well they let the player know everything about the game in that first level. So right now, you see that you run to the left, so you can run either way. And you know that you have to get up top there. I'm running out of time. You only have 90 seconds. And just a simple jump there killed me. So I don't know how I feel about uh, killing the player on the first level. So I've got to make it over that jump, which isn't too hard. These coins, I don't have to jump or do anything to get them. If I were to just run and not pay attention, I would hit another mine. So I think already they're going to tell you that you're going to die a lot in this game. Okay, so let's jump up there. So we're going to run through here. Little jump here and there. And the way this game works for the, for the students watching this is you have a door that you have to exit and this little switch that you have to hit that opens the door. This is the entirety of this game's mechanics, in a nutshell. There are things that kill you, you have to open the door switch, and then you have to exit the door to complete the level. So let's go to the next level. So they talked about this in the GDC talk, but basically, uh, for this game, they've created thousands and thousands of level levels, this two-team two development team and they will just pump out all these levels and then organize them and decide how many you can play. So at any, any given time, I think there are like 10 available levels to play, they, and they're all set in these sequences or these chapters. So there's five levels in each section. So here's another interesting level. <clears throat> so we're gonna play uh, hit to begin. So this one, you've gotta do a full jump. So so I could be, I could, uh, so I could, easily clear this one without getting any of the gold right a full jump actually takes you right to the door uh, but this is now teaching you how to get out of the pits yeah and it's very so he has a slow build up to a speed and then he actually takes a second to stop too so it's all about momentum and speed, stopping, starting, movement through the space. And they did, so we talked about this in Unreal Engine. A lot of the student games we're playing with have a real floaty feeling with the gravity. This one has that floaty feeling, but it's more intentional. So let's go to the next one. Press A to begin. Seems pretty safe too. So now we've got to figure out how to get this height. 
and I don't even know how to do it. Oh, that's kind of cool. So if you bounce off the walls, you can you can maintain momentum. Oh, oh, but we just learned that if you fall from too high, you go splat. All right, we're gonna exit this one. Bake Crate says hang time, you've got lots of hang time. So this is an interesting one. So it's a simple little C, C, C shape. So I guess I just go down, hit it, and then see how fast you can go up. A lot of speedrunners play this game. Metanine Square, here we go. Press A to begin. So we talked a little bit in class about player choice. So if you look at this one, you've got choice over here on the left side. And I'll show you. So we can easily jump over these. So this section, if you want to make it through these little things, it's actually got a pass-through door, so it's only a one-way. But if I wanted to go the safe way, I could have taken that other section over here. Oh yeah, 100% gold, baby. 100% gold. So yeah, so you, you finish that first section, it takes you to the next uh, section of levels. Press A to begin. So this one, you can see my little switch is blocked. So this will introduce me to a new, uh, a new danger, a new weapon, or uh, yeah, or I don't know, anti-air affordance, whatever you want to call it. And this is interesting. So when you're doing level design, any of these, whether they're these little um, mines that are sitting there, all they ever are is, is something that kills you or deals damage. And as a designer, it's all about how you present those and create those. So these ones, I'm gonna show you, if I fly through it, as soon as you touch one of those circles, it then creates a little mine that can then kill you, right? So I need to make it over here, open the door, and then I've gotta make it back without touching too many of those. This one's not too bad, it kinda introduces you to it. But just like that, it's passed. So let's see how many more versions of that they do. So this one, they've just strung out the strung out the weapons. One of my favorite quotes from the N++ was that they talked about the job of a level designer. So they said, a, a level designer's job is to explore the relationship of the mechanics or the movement of the game with everything within it and become an expert of that. As soon as you become an expert and understand how that player moves, you're able to take all of those items and kind of choreograph them in, in meaningful ways uh, so that you present them to the audience and they have a lot of fun playing it. And this one does a good job of that. And just like that, we passed it. All right, very cool. So this one introduces you to this little springboard. So this is fun little physics board. It, as it bounces down, if you if you jump while it's moving back up, it's like a trampoline. You can actually get some more height and get all the golds and walk right off of it. Uh, this one's weird, but we'll do it. Oh, I jumped too high. So that's just showing you, I think if you get this horizontal velocity and then jump, you get some, you get some height. <clears throat> so I just realized, so when you get like all of the gold, oh my gosh, I didn't see that coming. So, <laughs> so we were just introduced to something else. Uh, those mines hidden beneath gold. So these guys, if I want to get all the gold, I have to do it in a way that I don't touch those extra mines. Well, there's only some of them. And then you have that dangerous... Nope, and I did it. I squished it. Can I do it? I think I can do it. Ooh, I don't think I can do it now. 
can't get those last two. Alright, that'll work. That'll do, Basil. Alright, we made it. So immediately with the chat, I'll ask you, like, any thoughts on the design of these? Does it seem complex enough? Does it seem too simple? Uh, so that just opened up these little doors that created a ledge for me to get up here. And look at that! I just learned that they hid one underneath that gold piece, so there's no way to get all the gold in this one. Or is there? No. There's no way. That's terrible. A doctor Hat says lots of iteration on the simple mechanic. Seems they're teaching basics and sequence, not like not like kind of overwhelming with multiple mechanics at once. Yep. So what we should do after this one is let's move into some of the more complex ones. So this is technically there's like a lot of levels here that are considered the intro. Uh, but let's 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 go back a little bit. Um, I'm not sure what happened here. I went back to the wrong one. This one has that, that ball chasing me around. Social. Oh, this is cool. So the right triggers tell you some stuff about the games. Um, Awesomosity says, getting all the gold was an optional goal according to the GDC talk. So you could totally just beeline your way through the game. Yep. Uh, Snugglepup says, yeah, I read that. I feel like the learning curve is going a little slow, or maybe just like this, the, the stakes aren't escalating enough. Not getting all the gold doesn't seem like as much of a loss as, uh, as a failing enemy can... Yeah, so, th so what they did, and they talked about the GDC talk, is they end up uh, creating a whole bunch of different... Uh, added goals as well. Super interesting. So this one, I need to hurry and open up the door. Okay. Once we get through this one, I'll jump up into some of the more difficult levels. Since it's not escalating enough. This one. These are basically the thwomps in Mario. That when you go underneath them, they thwomp down. A lot of stuff is really reused. All right, let's just, let's do the beeline thing then. Okay, so we have some options now. So that was the intro and I cleared that earlier. But let's look, we could do, still go up say yeah, which makes these early levels a little trivial. So we could try ultimate or legacy. Let's try a couple of the N++ levels. Already not too crazy, right? Even this one, not, not a ton of ramping difficulty on it. And the Ninja Beat 1. Only got some of them. Yeah, these ones aren't as crazy. Some of them really get crazy. Oh, I lit that one. I didn't mean to do it. Hey, okay, we'll come back. See, that one seems kind of tricky. Because now... I have to really be careful of going down there. No problem. There we go. Okay, this is introducing some more uh, enemies or frenemies. See that guy? That guy moves towards you. And I didn't get them all, but it's okay. So I could try and get through that bottom one or just complete it. If I don't want the gold, so you're right, I can just make a beeline and not go for all the gold. This is something that you haven't seen yet. This is this little missile coming after you. Totally cool.
Oh, he got me, dude. So I could, I could say I don't want any gold and just go through it. Those missiles are brutal. What do you guys think? Is this difficult enough? Does that make it harder? Uh, plus, how are you doing, my friend? N plus plus is treating me really well. There we go. I'm just gonna clear this level. We didn't get any of the gold. We're just looking for some more craziness. This one. What? Okay, this is where it ramps up. Uh, plus says, wasn't this a DS game originally? Was it an N? Let's find out. Uh, N, the video game, is a freeware video game developed by Metanet, Metanet Software. So it was inspired in part by Load Runner, Sold At, and other side scrolling games. It was first. It was the first of the N series, followed by N Plus and N Plus Plus. Five years after N 1.4 released on June 1st, Metanet Software announced on the forums. Let's see. I'm I'm curious now where it was released first. Had the N editor. The original one had a total of 500 maps. Someone could find out. Someone could find out. Oh, it's a Windows game. N Plus did have DS support, though. I played one on the DS, I remember, that I bought from the store called 8 Second Run. Kind of similar, but a lot different. The point of each level was they were all 8 second levels. Oh, snap. So you only had 8 seconds to complete them. That's part of the challenge. So this one, you have 90 seconds. The gold, I believe, gives you more time. Oh my gosh. It's the floatiness that actually makes this one pretty hard. So it is a really fun game. Plus, what I like about it is the simplicity and the, the design. So it actually has a lot of, like we were just talking earlier, had a lot of, it has a lot of the platformer stuff, kind of like Mario Maker. Just really clean design. And these are the kind of games I love for like uh, like level design courses, just because they really focus on doing things as easy as possible. And it was a small team that made it, so it really had to. All right, let's see, how do you do this one? What is that thing gonna do? Oh, it's gonna shoot a magic missile at me. Of course it is. Oh my gosh. Gosh. Oh, uh, that's awesome. Holy crap, dude. Come on. Come on! Got it. Woo! Okay, here we go. Okay. Yeah, you can see how the ramping of difficulty just gets kind of crazier with each one. And I missed a gold. Feel kind of feel kind of bad about myself missing a gold. All right. <clears throat> this one is an interesting shape. Oh, there's another one. Not cool, man. What? What? All right. So these ones are kind of cool. So this one has a little version of you that uh, follows you. and kills you if you touch it. But I just kind of cheated. Okay. All right, my friends, so that is N++. We're, that was just a quick little playthrough to talk about it's, it's how it works. Beautiful little game, super simple uh, mechanics. As you see, the most important thing is just, it's really just pushing left and right and holding down the A button.